Yo, yo, super fun folks, we're back with some foam blast in action. And because it is October, it's the perfect time to show off the nail biter. And this is from the Zombie Strike, which again fits the Halloween season. And this is the Zoom and Doom kit, because there are two ways to get this. Well, there were two ways to get this, but it's not really available, you know, in stores anymore. You have to go ahead and get this, uh, you know, through eBay and sellers of more kind of vintage uh, toys and collectibles. But uh, when it was available, you could get just the nail biter blaster, which is this unit right here. And then they made this special kit, which came with the barrel right here. You can see the zoom barrel and then the cartridge stock here. All right, here is the power. Looks great. Let's take a look at the box really quick. I like the artwork here. Looks fantastic. Zombie Strike Survival, and this definitely feels super survival. Fast, pro uh, fast firing, no priming. Cocking back any type of spring. And then on the back, it looks cool. They have this little comic book section here. Be prepared for anything with survival kits to defend against any zombie attack. 16 Zombie Strike Elite darts, which are useless. 8 dart storage stock, like that. See here, we're going to take a look at it. Stock attachment point, cool, cool. Barrel extend, zoom and doom barrel, like a nice little happy family picture here with some blasters before the apocalypse, perhaps. Maybe they're already ready. And telling you here to look for the scavenger. All right, let's get this out of the box. Super stole, oh my goodness, I like the packaging a lot. Has a instructions here, very simple. Is it even open? I don't think it does. No, oh, it does, it should. There you go. I like how it looks like a schematic too on notebook paper, kind of like sketched. Feels really great with the theme. Tells you how to screw on the barrel, how the uh, clip works and all that stuff, the stock, how to fire it. Uh, the packaging again is great. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm going to Ninja Turtle vibes here with the pizza. You guys can see that right down there. I like it, man. It really feels like you're taking this out of like a, a tool shed or like a workbench station. Yeah, look at that. He got like some darts, screws, number two pencil, got a clamp right there. Again, got the pizza, duct tape, got some nuts and bolts and screws, flashlight. So this is really cool. Something to hold on to. I think it makes like a good backdrop for action figures, you know, and I might just leave those darts right there. Like I said, I don't ever use those, but they do have a great color for sure. Would you look at this, man? It is the Home Depot blaster if I ever did see one. It can be set up to be a lot more of a bigger blaster because you have a, again, stock attachment back there. You have a barrel attachment right here and big ups. I really, really enjoy the customization and big ups to Hasbro for carrying on that modulus theme and basically giving a lot of Zombie Strike Blasters the ability to be customized. Boom. Okay. So let's take a look at the stock first. As you can see here, it has basically like a bit holder for drills and stuff like that and for, you know, detachable pieces for your uh, tool set. But instead, you're going to be putting darts in there and, you know, you can obviously attach a sling or something here, you know, even here and here if you want. I mean, you can even do some lanyard stuff. And the back compartment here looks really cool too. It's like a mini cage. I do have some darts to see how those fit. So you can essentially, it looks like, could probably put one more in there for five total like so and it kind of snaps into place with some tabs right there that's really nice and then of course you can you know put them here they even have like the size here for the uh the bits that you would normally put inside a uh, bit holder but that is awesome here's the barrel looks fantastic again zombie strike this has had the logo as well and of course all these cool little details here looks great and so this one, whoa, there you go. It extends with a twist. It doesn't really flop around too much. Yeah, it actually stays pretty tight. But uh, yeah, this is great because, as you can see, it is much, much wider than a standard Nerf barrel. So if you extend your barrel and then you attach this, or if you just attach this to the barrel, it won't interfere. Now again, depending on the blaster, the way it's designed, having a barrel extension can possibly help with accuracy and distance. However, it can also hinder. I mean, if you definitely start to put too many barrel attachments and have such a long barrel for it to fire through, you will more often than not with these Nerf blasters actually have poorer performance 
you know, your dart will just kind of bounce around in the barrel and hit stuff and then slow down and just fire off randomly. Nice thing about this, plenty of room around the dart as you can see. So super cool. This is a great attachment you can pretty much add to any blaster without impeding your performance. And what's nice is this is neither a flywheel blaster nor is it a cockback spring mechanism in, in the traditional sense. This all operates through one trigger squeeze, which is why you have such a large trigger. You don't fire this thing with just one finger. You get a good amount of your grip on there. Once you have a nice purchase, you're going to want to fire it. But of course, I didn't have a dart in there yet. So I still don't have one in there. Still don't. Oh wait, actually I did. Oh, I see, it comes up, then fires it. Look at that. It does index the clip up, and then what you would do is you just go ahead and put the darts back in, put it back down, and you're good to go. It does have a lower tactical rail, does not have a top tactical rail. So there's still three points of customization, one, two, three, just assemble it for you. So that's lined up there because these tabs here always have to align with the bottom there. And then let's throw the barrel on. So this is such a great package. Again, depending on what's in your arsenal, you can definitely customize it to your taste. Do you want to keep it compact and just kind of focus on loading it? Do you want to add some type of, you know, secondary ability through the barrel or even the stock? Up to you. But regardless, this is super fun. Get one while they're still somewhat available. Uh, again, they're getting more rare and collectible. So don't hesitate. If you like the zombie theme, the survival theme, I mean, this also has kind of a tools, like, you know, uh, it's like survival slash you know, MacGyver theme as well. You know, again, for those of you who know the OG MacGyver, kind of putting together and making a weapon out of everything and anything, really cool. So there you guys go. Let me know in the comments if you guys got yourself a nail biter or what your combinations are like. And I will be doing a loadout video soon. So stay tuned, guys. All right, don't forget, keep your faith, say a prayer, stay thankful, stay positive, spread that love, like and subscribe, and kick a captain g -g game style. We'll be coming back at you. Peace.